Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here, bringing you the sixth video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave. We finished sorting out all the frass, uh, and now we need these vegetation codes, but Nancy doesn't know Hawaiian plants, so we kind of wrote down what the plants looked like in the last episode, um, but now we need to figure out what they are, and the best way to do that is to talk to our resources that are not stranded in the jungle, which would be Frank and Joe. Let's give them a call, ask for some help identifying plants. Hello? Frank? Oh, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? I could use some help identifying some of the plants that the frass jars are hanging next to. I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Alright, so poor Joe is getting treated for a concussion because he got knocked unconscious. You know, Nancy has been knocked unconscious many times and she's never gone to the hospital for a concussion. Perhaps she should have. That might have been a, ooh, a good idea. What is this? Davy's Pawn Shop. Paid in cash, 451. Hmm, interesting. Just see somebody selling things off? Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while, but he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Does that happen a lot? Couple times a year. As soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so... Somebody figured he'd help himself. Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. Good talking to you. Anytime. Good talking to you. Was it? Okay. So, this is where we can find um, plants, Hawaiian plants. And I believe we do have 14. Hey, this will cost you a big island buck, pal. Well, we've got 14, so that's okay. Please insert a big island buck. Didn't I do that? How do I insert a. Oh. There. Okay, I have a big island buck. Tell me about plants. Okay. So, now we need to match the descriptions of the four plants that we saw to the descriptions here. It's Puhala. I mean, it sort of looks like the tall tree with the thin green leaves, but they aren't really in bunches. Let's see. And they have a pineapple-like fruit. We didn't see any fruit. Okay, what about Hala Pepe? Mm, that doesn't look right either. No, I don't think it's Hala Pepe. Didn't see anything with flowers. Oh, that looks right. See, those branches look exactly like what uh, we saw by the purple frass trap. So Koa is probably by the purple fra purple frass trap. That is such a tongue twister. Wheelie Wheelie, didn't see anything orangish like that. Ooh, now Paka, that looks right, because we saw the white flowers with the serrated leaves. So that would be the one by the yellow frass trap. Okay, Kului, no, that doesn't look like anything. Banana plant, yes, definitely a banana plant. So that would be by the blue one. And now we just need um, green leaves with like a purpley underside. No, nothing with nuts. Aha! Myconia. Green leaves with a purple underside. Yes, okay. So Koa, Naupaka, banana plant, and Myconia are the plants that we need. Is that all of them? Yeah. Perfect. 
yeah, we got our money's worth. Alright, so I guess we can uh, give Nancy a call. Directory. Ooh, we could call the pawnbroker. Let's try it. Let's see if we can figure out who clobbered Joe. Pawn shop, this is Davey. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure, what's the number? It's receipt number... 57441. Hang on. How well do you know this guy? I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Think you could give me Kudo's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. Random Australian guy working in Hawaii. Should we call him? Let's do it. Johnny Kudo. The person you have called is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's? I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. Oh, nice. I wonder if, can we talk to Big Island Mike about this guy? See if he's heard his name. Want something else? Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. Think Pua knows him? She might have gone out with him or something. Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this Kudo guy, but I don't. Thanks for your help. Anytime. I'm gonna ask Pua. Do we see if she's at her little surfer shack? Do a little bit of s Ooh, sleuthing? Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly, I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. Why do you think Mapu double-crossed you like that? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Shoot. Oh, man. It could have worked so well. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. Oh, that's a relief. The guy who clobbered Joe, what do you think he was doing in your father's office? You know, you sound just like the police. They asked me the same thing. Really? Must be all those cop shows I watch. Like I told the police. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding, or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? 
Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is, from the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Think I could see it? The chart? Sure. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. I can't do that. Then you don't get the chart. Then again, maybe I can do that. I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. This is a lot. His favorite flavor of shave ice. You know, let's call Nancy right now, because I think she needs to finish this frass stuff, and we can work on this later. Let's give her a call. Hello? Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? You betcha. Great, let's hear it. Well... The Puhala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. The Hala Pepe tree has smooth gray bark oh and long skinny Don't leaves. Say all of it. The Aali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall with sickle shaped leaves. The Wheelie Wheelie tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And myconia, boo, is an extremely invasive tree with big leaves that are green on top and purple on the bottom and have three veins. Okay, anything else you want to know? Uh, no. Not right now. Good. How about I talk to you later? Deal. Okay. Not sure why he had to list them all off like that. That was a lot. Anyway, so we can look at the chart here. And here's the vegetation code key. So we need um, no vegetation for green and orange, which is 11. We need purple is koa. Where's koa? One, two, three. So koa is four. Or zero, four. Um... The yellow one is now Paka, which is 06. The blue one is Bananas, Banana, 08. And the red one is Myconia, which is 10. Okay, so now we have the whole thing filled in. We need to... When analysis grid is completely filled in, insert clipboard into formula analysis machine, note resulting number. Okay, so we put it in this machine thingy, and we note the resulting number. Oops. Oh, put it in the machine. There we go. Okay, what is the resulting number? I hope it makes sense. I hope it's not weird. Two point seven one eight two eight. Interesting. I have no idea if that's correct or not. Um, <laughs> I hope it's right. Uh, yeah. And now I guess we go tell Quigley. Hopefully, she likes our answer.
And if she doesn't, well then off camera I'll just have to figure out where I went wrong with the frass. Lots and lots of frass. Two, three, finger rock! Trekking through the jungle, listening to coconuts falling. Lots and lots of coconut sound effects. I've never eaten like a raw coconut. Is that a thing you can do? Probably. I wonder what it tastes like. Quigley? Coconut. Yoo hoo! Quigley! What? I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu K. Don't worry, they were made by Norse beta larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. But I, I did go to work. Quigley? Well? I'm all done. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, I fed all the data into your formula machine and the number it came up with was 2.71828. No, that's not right. You made a mistake. Ugh. Oh, but I was so careful. Your results indicate otherwise. Boo. Take another look at your entries for the orange trap. Try again. Oh, well, it's helpful that she gives me information. Look at my entries for the orange trap. Can I just try and fix it now? What if it is maybe this is 305? Maybe it's just a different code. Quigley! Quigley. Could you come down here? Because I'm pretty sure I counted right, but maybe I just put in the wrong number. What? Did you feel that earthquake? Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Have you felt earthquakes like that here before? This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I've felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Have you heard about Kane Okala? Of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Kane Okala was spotted doing this, or he was heard doing that. Do you think there's any truth to what they're saying? Not one iota. Well, I'll let you get back to your wasps. Keep up the good work. Okay, let's go all the way back now. And try to get a different number. I knew something seemed off. It just didn't seem quite right. I need to fix the orange trap. Back to camp quickly. Let's go quickly. <laughs> Get it? Quickly, quiggly. Let's see if maybe putting it. Oops. Maybe just changing that number worked. Let's try it. Two point seven one eight two eight. Nope. Interesting. That's exactly what we got before, so that's not right. Okay, we need to fix the orange trap, she said. So let's look at this again. What do we got? Not a whole lot. Oh, you know, I bet I counted that wrong because that's probably an insect part. Seed. Insect part. Insect part. Insect. Okay. So there's five seeds, four insect parts, and three frass. And it weighs 37. 37, five seed insect frass. 37, five seed insect frass. Yeah. 37, five, and then seed insect frass is 305. Okay, so 
That is the right... This is the correct solution. Correct solution. I hope. Let's see if putting that in does yields anything better. One hundred nineteen thousand four hundred fifty six. All right. That sounds better. So we'll go bring that to Quigley and see what she says in the next episode. But I'll leave this one right here. Thanks for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon. <laughs>